Hi, this video is about how to use the avalanche session in the pass-through mode. To use the pass-through mode, basically select the uh, use avalanche tickle files in the avalanche session profile. Once you select this option, only the test tickle folder property is enabled and the rest of the properties are going to be disabled. For this particular property, point the location to a folder that is containing the test.tickle and the config.tickle files which are being generated by the Avalanche uh, application. This is what the uh, folder would look like which has been generated by the Avalanche application. It contains the config.tickle and the test.tickle files. Getting back to the application, that's the only uh, property that you need to set in the session profile and you can simply start the application. As you can see that the there is an additional display uh, in the Avalanche uh, console which shows the information about the client cluster units which have been loaded, the server cluster units which have been loaded and the provision list. You can go ahead, click start and the Avalanche application will use the uh, configuration that has been specified in the config.tickle and will run the test which has been specified by the test.tickle both generated by the Avalanche application. The advantage of using Avalanche in the pass-through mode is that you can you, you can generate any test.tickle file and config.tickle file for any configuration and uh, any version of Avalanche may be 3.40 or 3.5 or any any other app, uh, uh, config, uh, uh, configuration and there, there, there needs to be no compatibility issues in terms of uh, if uh, iTest is compatible with a particular version of Avalanche. So that's the flexibility that the pass-through mode provides you with using the Avalanche application. So if I go ahead and click start, uh, iTest is going to go ahead and start running the test. As you can see that the only thing you can do to control the test over here is abort. You cannot stop the test or you cannot configure the test. These are the limitations when you use the pass-through mode. So once you click, go ahead and start a test and you want to stop the test, the only way to do that is to abort that particular test. Once the test has completed and the results are uh, uploaded and are displayed in the data file section, uh, you can go ahead and analyze the data as you would do in a normal, in a normal Avalanche application. So uh, that's, that's the Avalanche pass-through mode which basically gives you the flexibility to try out and uh, different configuration files using the Avalanche generated tickle files. Thank you.